It says for Joe, we're taking out the new Desolate Endurance Lucky Draw, not Lucky Draw even, um, a new event with, of course, this couple of free skins. He has the, uh, the Ruin Obsidian Steel, uh, of course, and the Air as well, Baneful. I see these are a couple of really nice uh, free skins, so I'd highly recommend trying to do this, to do this event. So yeah, if you do want to enjoy the video, make sure to, of course, like and subscribe. And if you do want my ASV out, then make sure to, of course, stay tuned until the end, and let's get into the video. Today's day's task goes to H Gaming. They have about, uh, they have 52, one, oh, sorry, 150 subscribers at the time of this video. And they do uh, mainly multiplayer related content and skins related content, so yeah. If you do over and enjoy their videos, make sure to, of course, to give a like to the videos you enjoy and of course subscribe to the channel if you do the join their channel in general. Of course, I'll be linked down below in the description and up on the screen here. Uh, yeah, make sure to go over, uh, be supportive, leave any supportive comments if you do, do enjoy, enjoy anything they do. And if there's anything you can improve, and if you think there's anything they can improve on, then make sure to of course go over and be supportive and uh, leave any positive and um, uh, any feedback on what they can improve on. And uh, yeah, go over, be positive, be supportive, and let's get into the video. Okay, so we are and you can see in the event tab, and as you can see here, see a different endurance event. Uh, so you get basically you collect loot boxes, which you get by uh, playing the game basically, and um, and then you and, and then the more loot boxes you get, of course, the uh, the better rewards you get, and you get to go through and you have to get, to get the maximum reward, which is of course the rune obsidian steel. You have to uh, you have to get fifteen thousand points, so you can actually improve how much you get by uh, doing these builds. Uh, you have to get the uh, this metal material. I don't know what it's called. But uh, by doing, but yeah, by doing these ta daily tasks, you can get that uh, that mid -night material. And then what these what these upgrades do is they let you uh, they let you collect the um, the loot boxes faster. So as you can see here, plus 200 daily loot boxes, uh, mat loot box supply and MP plus 15 percent. I'm assuming that means that you can get plus 15 percent more. Plus 100 daily loot boxes, and I think it's this. So the, the green ones cost 10. I think these ones cost 15. And then these ones cost the red ones at the outer, outer red cost 25, as you can see. And so, yeah, but it's basically just by doing just the challenges, you can make it so it goes faster. Of course, I've got 88%, and now, of course, it is uh, decided to just disconnect. I don't even know why. My thing is fully plugged in and everything, which is really annoying, of course. Um, but yeah, so yeah, as you can see, we have a. At the moment, I have a loot box supply in MP plus 50%, loot box supply in BR plus 50%, loot box. Uh, rewards and daily tasks, task plus 50%, advanced material materials and daily tasks plus 50%, daily loot box plus 300 and then advanced materials needed minus 3. But yeah, overall these are, it's, it's not too bad, it's, just, it's easy, it's easy to do, I believe, what's the date today? I believe it's the, it's the 11th, so you have 4 days left to complete this, so it should, should, just should be easy, be easy to complete this I would say. So yeah, now let's go into the into the train mode, and I'll check out. We can check out some more, some of the rewards, of course. Okay, so we are in the train mode. As you see, I have the air well equipped. Okay, so let's let's check out the um. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's check out the 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 current skin first. Oh come on, why do I always do this? Let's try that again, shall we? I don't know the best one for that. Let's let's just do this one again, shall we? Ah, uh, that's actually not too bad of a character, honestly. Um, definitely one. Uh, you know what? It's a good-looking character skin for a um. For a free character skin. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely get an, an 8 out of 10. I kind of like the black and the silver, it's kind of a, it's a really nice combination. And then we have, of course, this AS Valve skin. I like the AS Valve, of course, it does have that um, custom inspect as well. So, yeah, no, this is actually a decent skin, it's got some nice colours to it, maybe a bit. Um, Maybe a bit dark, but yeah, still really nice. It's going to get a 7.5 of 10. These are decent, free, compared to other free skins we have. These are pretty, pretty nice, to be fair. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely some really nice free skins right here. And in terms of the air spell, it actually surprised me on how um, 
how e nice it is to use now because as you see they are they are, i believe they just they they adjusted the aim shape for a lot of guns and they are, this was one of them so it makes it a lot more a lot smoother to use and actually it makes it a lot easier to a lot more versatile in terms of long range makes it easy, a lot more a lot easier to take long range engagements because of course the aim shape uh, isn't messing up your, your view Uh, of course with the fast fire rate, it's slightly more, slightly less punishing if you do miss shots of course, but um, still of course wouldn't recommend it. And then the base iron sight isn't too bad on this, but this, this one's quite nice iron sight because it's easier to see because it has a little like, blue on it. So yeah, it's quite a nice one. Okay, so here's the hip fast rate accuracy. As you can see, it isn't the greatest on this gun. Um, so yeah, I definitely have to get a, 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 a 5 out of 10 for a hit for a accuracy, I'd say. And uh, here is the recoil. Interesting one, but it's still it's, uh, it's easy enough to learn. It might, be a bit, it, might, it might be a bit more difficult than some others, but if it wants to learn it, it's not too bad to control, to be fair. Um, so yeah, you can get a, a 6 out of 10 for a recoil. And now let's have the, uh, let's see, uh, so we have 28. Is that 28 up to 30? 30. Then a 42. So it's a guaranteed 4 shot at any range. Which is actually, well, it's actually pretty decent at this range because it's um, cause of its faster fire rate. Although we'll hold up close, we'll get outgunned by most um, most SMGs, unfortunately. I mean, this is another really nice gun to use because you don't have to sacrifice anything to get any to get the silence ability because it's already silenced. So yeah. Twenty-five. So even at this range, even at this range, it's still a guaranteed one shot. Don't know why it's. Um, I don't know why it's doing that, but yeah. So yeah, if, even out of the 20 meter range, it's still a guaranteed 4 shot, which is actually pretty good for a fast fire rate gun. And then it goes down to 19, 20. I need to get, didn't get a headshot there, though. 28. So still, you, you can probably, you can consistently five shot. I would say at that range, which is actually really good um, in terms of damage wise um, compared to some other fast firing guns. So def definitely, it's like more versatile than I was first expecting this gun is. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely one I'd highly recommend checking out. You know, so yeah, this is a nice skin, especially for it being a free skin. So yeah, I highly recommend uh, trying to grind for this skin. And in terms of gun, it's a one I'd highly recommend checking out. So yeah, now let's get into the uh, let's get into the ranked gameplays.
So here is my ASVAL loadout. As you can see, it's a range accuracy build because uh, the ASVAL are quite good at longer ranges. Uh, just, it's, it's not so good at longer ranges, so you have to improve those bits to make it slightly more versatile. Although I believe it's, like, it's more of an aggressive weapon. Although it did surprise me, of course, in, uh, in how much it can beam. So yeah, we have the MIP 200mm mid range barrel for the plus 20% damage at range and plus 20% bullet speed, which is now outside of the spawn gun, of course. Then we have the OWC skeleton stop for a plus 15% ADS unit speed and minus 8% ADS time. We have the Piranha foregrip for the okay, so we have the Piranha foregrip for the plus minus 10% ADS time and minus 15% hit flinch. And we have the large, large extended mag A for the plus 15% mag capacity. And finally, we have the granular equipped tape for the minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread. Yeah.